How to make a savory salsa. You start by broiling your tomatoes 20 minutes, turn them over another 20 minutes. Then you take two onions, three avocados, an entire bulb of garlic, and just loosely chop them and uh, uh, you, don't, uh, you don't cook the avocado, but you do cook the garlic avocado and uh, two sweet bell peppers. I'm going to use this um, bag of little bell peppers and that's to add sweetness to the salsa. Alright, you want to throw in the garlic cloves. That's uh, one whole bulb of garlic cloves is approximately nine garlics. You want to throw in your onions. You want to throw in your bell pepper. You want to cook everything. And yes, this is garden, some of it, not all of it, is garden fresh. Um, and you think, well, everybody else does theirs, you know, raw. And that's tasty. But if you cook it, cooking brings out the full flavor of, of any food. And so this will be delicious. And you'll really, I think you'll just really adore the way this tastes. So uh, I'll get back to you in a moment. Pretty soon your whole house will begin to smell just absolutely wonderful as this cooks. You remove the seeds, you remove the little white ribs that are in the bell peppers, and you just saute them all together. I'm using three bunches of cilantro. When you chop cilantro, you only want the leaves. You want to cut off the stem and just throw those away. You need to juice the limes. I almost forgot to show you. Okay, at this point we're just going to uh, blend them all. Then we're going to put them in a non-reactive bowl. Uh, the acidity in tomatoes is reactive. So you need glass, ceramic, or plastic, not metal. And then um, it, it, it put in about uh, three tablespoons of salt to, you know, to your taste and uh, about the same amount of curry powder, one to two tablespoons of curry powder, two to three tablespoons of salt. Uh, refrigerate it overnight and by the next day it'll be very delicious. Uh, word of warning, you might not want to take it to work because everybody at work will love it so much you'll become famous for that and everybody will then require it of you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, this is what it looks like when it's done. If you eat it now, you're making a big mistake. It really needs to marinate in its own juices overnight. And um, it's the next day that it's at its best. This is not just for dipping chips into it. Uh, you can put it on, you know, of course you can dip chips into it. You can put it on tacos. You can put it on baked chicken, but it's not even just for Mexican dishes. You can add it to uh, scrambled eggs and to other things. This is really a very delicious sauce. Enjoy. Just to show you all the cilantro. There's a lot of cilantro in this. How to make men's soup. Men's soup relies heavily on leftovers. Unlike ladies' soup, uh, when women make soup, yes, they might use leftovers, but they're trying for an excellent meal, so they use the finest ingredients, and usually everything's pretty fresh. So with men, uh, their purpose in making soup is to use up leftovers. I have uh, corn on the cob, bacon from this morning's breakfast, um, carrots, leftover chicken. Uh, I've already put the gravy in the pot, but gravy is a tremendously good base for any uh, men's soup. And that's really all there is to it. You put all the ingredients in, season to taste, and that's it. That's men's soup.